Okay, between parts I have been a bit busy and what we're going to be doing today is working on the line from Wigan up to Southport. Welcome back to NIMBY Rail. <laughs> Yes, hello boys, girls, and all of my two my name is Lisa McKenna, and welcome back to Nimby Rails. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at what I've been doing off camera. Now, in real life, um, there are quite a change, there's quite a lot of changes that keep happening to the services through Wigan. But the general consensus is that the services run from Manchester up to the area, and then there's one through to Southport and one through to Kirkby, which of course now is Headbot Lane, which is here. But what we're going to be doing today is building the line from Wigan to Southport and then we'll also have this piped in. I think what we'll do for this track here, which is obviously going from here down this way and into Salford Crescent here. Uh, where is it? Uh, hang on a moment. Just here. We will pipe that in too. I reckon I'll do that. So I'm going to do like a different type of time lapse today. So I'm going to start with this and then do the Southport line. But I'm going to just sort of cut through this one and then the line up to Southport will be a full time lapse. But before we do that, let me just quickly show you what I've done. So I am going to do one more service as well and we're going to do that um, off camera. I am going to do a services breakdown. I know I've said I'm, I keep saying I'm going to do that. I will be doing that, so do not panic. But what I have installed is the first service up this line. So it officially goes from Manchester, Victoria to Wigan, Walgate. And what I've decided to do is not stop them at Hindley and Ince yet. We will have trains from Manchester, Victoria stopping there that go via Bolton. I need to do proper services. But for now, this is what we're going to run. I've not yet run the trains on this. So we're going to do that first, just see how they go. So let's see where they appear. Let's have a look. When's the first one's going to appear? There's one. There's another. And there's another now. You'll notice this is 195134 and this is 195136. These aren't real life numbers. If you remember way back in the beginning, I mentioned that or at least I should have done, that we're going to try and utilise the fact that there is room. CAF have the option to order more 195s for Northern, or Northern have the option to Northern have the option to order more from CAF, I should say. So we are utilising that. Uh, this service is now 195s, and it's using two of the brand new ones, and then one from the existing fleet. Now we're just going to have a look at the capacities on these, just see how they're doing. Um, it seems pretty good, to be fair. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Yeah, look at that. It does seem... No, I'm not clicked on the train. That might help. 34 okay so it might actually that might be good because if we can keep that as the, the service pattern of course this is during the day can we go to a peak time let's fast forward to like 5 p.m okay so these work on a half hourly basis at the moment i might be able to drop that to, to hourly because currently um i've set it up that sundays are hourly and then the weekdays are half hourly but we might not need them to run hourly uh, half hourly we'll leave them like that for now, we can always adjust that later. So with Wigan, I've built both Wallgate and Northwestern. Now one thing that is important to note is with Wallgate and with Ince. These are the first two stations I've also done platforms for, as you can see. I did it mainly for uh, Wallgate, just to visualise where the platform is. Um, but I thought I'd do it with Ince as well, because it was quite a large gap between the two, so it looked quite odd. So I've done that for both. So yeah, you get a real idea there of what they look like. We're not going to do everything, we're not going to do like the features, we're just going to do platforms for our save, if you want to see buildings, sorry. And I have built Northwestern as well, but I've not done the platforms for that. So, yeah, that's all in place. So what we'll do, I'll cut now to the time-lapse where I build the track from here at Salford Crescent all the way up to Daisy Hill. And then we'll do the line up to Southport from there.
Right, okie dokie. So I was going to do the line to Southport, but I have just sort of sat down and realised that's quite a lengthy service a line. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to crack on with, I'm going to put the signals down where I've just built, show you what I've been up to, what I've uh, created. Obviously you'll have a rough idea. Um, so yeah, that's why you'll notice it wasn't like jumping in that time lapse like I said it would while doing this line. So let me just make sure that all of this is looking good and then I will show you guys what the plan is for this line. You'll have noticed something quite intriguing which I'm going to mention now. Now this is potentially going to change to fully four track down here um, as time goes on. I'm not 100%. I think that might be a good idea. Sure these are wrong. I don't know, I've just also deleted the wrong one, so I'll have to go back and do this in a moment. Um, yeah, the line may become four track at some point. I'm not 100% on if I want to or not. But for now, what I have done is any second now. I'm just going to do these like that. There you go. So, Averton, um, the, the line, we have a four track station basically. So, it has a terminating platform essentially, which I know that looks a bit odd or like terminating platforms in fact. Um, we're going to have some services running up to this far only. Now in real life there is a turn back point in Aberton, which is kind of why I put it there. Um, whether we then four track past there, I'm not too sure. Currently this seems like it will work f just as that. But yes, yeah, so we four tracked it. I don't know if it's a maybe. Hmm. Now that I think about it, that might be a good idea. Just because I've done all this, as you'll see, but I'm just thinking the next station. Maybe that should be four track as well, actually. Yeah, let me just get there and then, rather than disrupt what I'm doing, let me finish these as we go, and then I'll make walk to the uh, four track station as well. So there, 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 and then this is where I've currently got it. But what I'm actually going to do is take these out. <laughs> Roughly the same point. And then I've got to do this this way for some reason. I don't know why they keep doing that, but they don't want to work properly. So just do that and that. There we go. And then we can put these signals in. Oh, that needs to move just slightly. Good. Put a signal there and there. And then directional arrows. Good. And then here we're going to have the track come out this end. Like this. Probably should be a bridge really over that road. Maybe I'll do that next. Good. Don't worry, I'm not making these perfect just yet. I will fix them in a second. Right. Make parent U. Remove. Could leave them connected, to be fair. In fact, we will do, just to be sure we don't ruin the co corners or anything. Uh, or the corner, in this case. I think that's pretty reasonable. And then this way we have that four-track section. A little bit longer as well, which should hopefully make the service just that bit better. Maybe we don't need these here, actually. If we just do this, these should connect up okay. And make a pretty decent um, corner, I think, I reckon. And then pick parent onto there. But that will be six. That one. But no, we'll just remove constraint on that one. Like that? Okay. I don't like the shape of Walton now, though. Looks a weird, odd shape. That's not too bad. We'll do that. Right. Cool. So now we can put the rest of the signals in. So going down this way, we've got one here. Lovely. And we'll have one just there as well. In fact, then what we'll do, we'll do it right up to the edge of the station here. Because we're going to do either side of the platforms. The signals. Like that. And then that should hopefully be okay. 
and then just down to here and off we go down the main part of the track the rest of the track now so we can do a service now as well which would be good I didn't actually check how long ok well if we're at 44 minutes now I definitely did about 5-10 minutes at the beginning there so I will do a bit of more of a breakdown on how to do these services and then I'm going to just do that so if the video comes out a bit longer because of that I apologise but I was going to say that for the next episode but if we're not building a line to Southport today because that will take way too long um, I will do that instead so there's two things here this is an old station as you can see and I didn't bring that one back what I did do there was three old stations between uh, Salford Crescent and Swinton so I brought back the middle one which is Earlham's over the heights Earlham yeah Earlham's over the height now also note that I've done platforms for this one too that's mainly because this station doesn't exist in real life so I wanted to make sure we knew what platforms would look like uh, let's just check I've got these right I've done them right. Yeah. No, I've not. Look at that. Be careful with these because they place the opposite way around to the signal. Let's check this one's right as well. Nope. Okay, good. I'm going to have to be really careful with these then. I only do this because it means I only have to have one arrow each way, so it's easier to put the station in from a distance. Which then also means they're not really necessary. So there is that. Right. And then come around this bend. Let's have one there. Oh, no. This is where I don't need to press shift. And one there as well, I think. And we'll have one here too. And then there was a station here. I don't know. You, you will have seen. I built this as an episode of the height originally. Then realised that's not what station that is. Cool. So that builds the track down to the fact that we'll do one more there just to be sure. Cool. Perfect. So hmm, then these feel like they're too far apart. Let's go for there and there. There and there. And then take these ones out a second. Oh. There and there. That's better. Right, brilliant. So, let's build the blueprints on that first. And now I'm going to show you how you actually pipe these services in properly. Now, I'm not too sure exactly what people meant by this. I think it's a mixture of timetables and services. So, well, today I will... Well, I think... Yeah, the service is pretty obvious. Um, if you're not too sure on that, I did explain that pretty... Well, as well as I could in the first episode. So, do click on that. So what we're going to do to this one, these will serve Hinley and Ince, and they'll run as far as Wigan for now. These will be the ones that extend to Southport. We do then probably need to actually build a second centre siding here. I'm just thinking that actually because, well not centre siding, but you know, a second, I'll call these sidings now I guess. Simply because, um, oh, in fact this train's a bit in the way. Can I get that train out of the way? Well, look, seven more minutes. Good because I'm just thinking if I can um, delete that for just a second, sorry, um, past me to undo my own work, because I'm going to move these signals here down to there, and then this is going to come off here now. No, in fact, what we'll do, we'll, hold up, this needs to move now then. So in fact, let me take that out a sec. Go do that and hopefully that should be okay and then I can promote this to platform yeah, there we go do that and then control C all of this pick parent pick parent and pick parent on that delete that and then this is going to come into Hmm. I want it to come to there, really, but I don't know how to do that without it being awkward looking. I guess there kind of works. Do that, and then can I put a light a signal in there and it won't kick off? Yeah, I can. Good. Cool. I'll then just put a thing at the end of this. This and this. And then what I'll do is that's 135. It's actually 134 currently. Remove constraint. Three, five. Cool. Looks a bit odd, but it will do. And we'll just call that um, Wigan. Oh yes, in fact, South Park sidings. That works. Automatic name then. Um, name only, and that's no coverage on that one. Cool. Perfect. Right. Rebuild those back then, and then go to lines quickly. Just going to go onto this and go out of stop there and then pick 
picked secondary platform signal there and pick section platform is there. Brilliant, that way we can have two trains waiting at a time. Okay, sorry, I just had to change the tracks there, so I will cut that bit out just to not make it confusing. So there is our depot run, so then we're going to do our new line. We're going to get the same colour again. Now, this time, I'm not going to stop at Salford Central on these. So this will be NT10, and I'm going to call it Manchester Victoria to Southport, simply because between parts, I will, or well, off camera, I'll then extend them to Southport, so... I think Southport's SPT, isn't it? Well, we're doing that anyway. So now, hmm, there's two ways we could do this actually, I've just thought, bear with. Right, okay, for this service I think we're going to use, I want four carriages I think, so we'll do that and then times two. That should work. I don't know if it will fit in all the stations, but obviously these have SDO anyway. Now with a 195, what is the lowest, lowest, highest number, dash zero, 25, okay, so this will be zero, two, Eight and one nine five zero one one. For now, I might change that. We'll just buy it and see what happens. Copy those orders. Of course, it has. Why have you done that? Freaking thing. Right, delete all those. Just for now. Let's just have a quick look at here. Oh, these are the first dash zeros we have. Okay, well that's fine. I didn't realise that. So a pen new order. Um, ten. From. No, that's not it. 10 there. One day to Saturday. So the other one leaves at 6. So let's have this one leave at 6.15. Or should it leave just before, maybe? No, leave just before even. 5.50 in the morning. Monday to Friday. In fact, Monday to Saturday would be. Yeah, Monday to Friday. A pen. Now I'll just go quickly go to lines and just check the times on this. So, um, custom duration. One hour. Good, that works. And then we can do manually pick stops as well so we have the right point which is south port upside is custom weight duration do not board or disembark do not board there do not disembark obviously not that you can but now there's a point it only has a minute and a half at south port up so actually this will need to be another hour and a half one just so we have a bit of a longer wait there i do think the other service might go to two hourly and then run an hourly service or two hour duration but anyway so how do you actually fill out these services let me explain so with the lines, you have to go onto this default timings thing, and you've got to change this to custom, like I've just done there, and write this out as something. Um, so whatever, it, so put a train onto it, like I've done here, and it gives you, it then can calculate what the train is capable of doing. So the vehicle we're using um, is capable of getting to there and back in just about an hour, but doing that means that we have no waiting time. So I've done an hour and a half just to give it a wait time here at the sidings, so that if it gets delayed, it makes up time. Then change manually pick stops on this sort of evenly, and that's how you do the custom weight duration. And you can also change where you can board and disembark. So at this first stop, which I actually didn't do on the other service, you can take off like disembark there, and you can take off um, board as well. Although technically you don't need to do that because the train will then go on to a, a service that is technical maneuver if it's fully disembarked. So we'll leave that on actually because they do need to be able to do both. I'm incorrect with that. But yeah, the end ones you can do this if you're doing a siding thing like this. To do make the sidings work as well, I'll show you that another time. Um, but then there's auto run a line, don't really need to use that. And the default stop time, that doesn't work anyway either. So we're going back onto here. So firstly, just make sure we do loop to next order and change. So this is how you edit the orders and then you append new ones here. So 
for Monday to Saturday. The next one will then be the 720. On this this unit, we'll do the 720 Monday through to Saturday. And I've not set the loop to next order again. Change, good. Right. That needs to be off now, ironically, because I need to do the depot run. So to do a dep to pick the depot run, um, you want to pick look on here. And if you look at the top of that box, it's got the unit, the run number, the service, and then it tells you its start time. And then it tells you just underneath when it's going to leave Victoria, which on this case is 2220. So if we set the depot run to 2220, you'll see that that then goes there. But sometimes it does this, and I don't know what causes this, but if you just change this to like 21, um, or just keep going. In fact, we click and append. Ignore me. Hang on. Delete that. Go back onto. Let's go onto edit. Sorry. Click on your depot run. And then if you just change this. Oh, actually no. I've done 21 and it seems to be working now. Yeah. So if you change it to 21. So before it was on 20 like that. So yeah. If you click on edit new orders or edit order. Sorry. And click there. You can just change this to like 21. I don't know what makes it do that. But yeah, 21. It'll then run from there to the depot. Now. Click on Victoria there and last stop Newton Heath. You do you could just set the service up to be that way. I think now it might work with a 20 actually. Hang on. Nope, still not working. 21. But yeah, you can also just set it up to be that way around, but I do it depot to station. Just it's easier in my mind to think of it that way. Now, what I am gonna do is we're gonna have the same frequency on Sundays for this service, so I'm actually gonna do Monday to Sunday. Don't really need to do that. I'm doing that just for my own sake, really, so I know what I'm adjusting. Nine, f not nine fifty, is it? Um, oh, that's because I've changed it. Ignore me. Right. So then, don't change. Right. So then, we're gonna have the same frequency on Sundays. So we're gonna go into here, append new order, back to this loop until next order, Monday to Sunday, and we'll set that as oh nine fifty. That should work. So remember to always put the zero zero at the end as well, because otherwise it does it as midnight oh nine. But it's not 9.50, is it? So how have I done that wrong? B oh, 8.50. I can't do maths. Yes, because 7.20 plus one hour and a half is not 9.50, is it? I am silly sometimes. And then the Sunday depot run. I think what we could just do is have it leave for the depot at the same time, to be fair. So if we go edit, click on that, and just do Sunday and change. There you go. So each each day, like, it starts one day later each on this unit, but then it will change from there. I think that's pretty reasonable. So now what you can do, which is, this is where it comes easier. So, there's a little bit of maths involved. This is the way I do it, by the way. You can just do 24 hour running, where that's the auto running and stuff, but I don't use that, so please don't ask me how it works. But yeah, so what we can now do is, we can go back to basics on this train, and you can just clone it, and then we need to do next unit number. So we'll do 195, 12, no, 026, was that right? 026, yeah, and then we'll do 002 as well, just one of the lower numbered ones again. Uh, purchase. And if you go to orders, this will have the exact orders of the last one. And then what you can just do, so we know that it's an hour and a half to do the run, but we want a half hourly service in that case. So we can just increase everything on here by half an hour. So this can become 920, like that. And this becomes 2251. And because I've done the that being Monday to Friday, that Monday to Saturday, and that Monday to Sunday, it just changes them all. I've just realized recently that that's a really easy way to do it. So I've sort of simplified my system there. And again, clone again, and then 195.0209 and 010. Yeah, why not? We'll have numerical order on this one. Confirm that. Uh, not clone. Ooh, uh, go back to there. There you go. So click on this again. Orders. And once again, so we've got the. We got so this one is the newest one, 620. So we just change that to 650. This to 820. 820 this to 950 and then this will be 2321 now on a Sunday I don't know if I want the trains running until 2321 so we could run this one until 2150 so change this here to there append new order go onto that not loop so what was it 9 2150 that was it so 2150 just for Sunday no, 2151 even. Uh, edit 2151. Just for Sunday, because I don't know if I'm running as late. And that is basically how you pipe in a service. So now that we've done that, if I press play, or press the plus button on my keyboard, any minute now, you'll see, so the others have disappeared because I changed one of the stations, but there you go. So there's a, there's a Wigan, there's a Southport, and there is a Southport. And then the third one will appear shortly. Um, I don't know where, but it will appear somewhere. It's probably waiting to appear at one of these uh, end points, actually. Um, one minute. Where is the other one? Can't find it now. 
Where are you gone? Hopefully. Ah, there it is. Ah, so there looks like we might. Hmm. Are they going to be waiting? Are they going to have two at Southport at once then? Uh, not Southport. Uh, <laughs> Southport. Wigan Wargate? No, they are staying apart enough. Let's just have a look. That works. Yeah, that does look to be working to me. Obviously, this is temporary that they're using this anyway, so that's fine. Perfect. And there you go. That is our first... Well, that is our new service piped in. In the next episode, I will build the line out to Southport. Um, but other than that, I've been Lucy McKayla. This has been Nimby Rails. Um, it's been quite a long one for me to record. I've been doing a lot of off-camera work for it, so I'm now going to crack on with editing it. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week for this, or for the next video you choose to watch. Bye for now.